Hey everybody, welcome to t Boy Cooks. I appreciate you joining today. I've had a lot of requests to do some smoked salmon, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I got a teriyaki glaze for it, so we're going to kick it up a little bit. Oh, and I got to thank a couple of people. First off, Jonathan over at Texas 2.0 on YouTube. Y'all go check out his channel. I'll put it up here for you. But uh, he was kind enough to send me this hat with my, my little name on it there. Appreciate that. And also, Daryl over at Bad Beast Barbecue. Daryl makes shirts, y'all. And he sent me this one that he made for me. Don't it look good? I've worn it before, but it's been a while. So Daryl and uh, Jonathan, thank you very much. And I'll put Bad Beast Barbecue up here for you too, folks. All right, let me go get this uh, salmon prepped. I'll show you that here in a second. And I'm also gonna light some charcoal. Be right back. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, cooking up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Always with the beer or whiskey, but he cooks responsibly. All right, folks, what I got here is some Sakai salmon. Well, she's beautiful, I love that color on it. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see what I wanna do first. Uh, tell you about the marinade and stuff. Uh, not really a marinade, but a sauce. I found this at the store today. I haven't tried it before, but we're gonna give that a shot. It's just a teriyaki marinade and sauce. I'm gonna use it as a sauce. And uh, this has soy sauce in it, so you don't wanna go heavy with the salt. A nice low sodium um, rub is, uh, it's incredible, you know by uh, Heaven Made Products, folks. Really good stuff. As you can see, I'm about out of it. Hint, hint. <laughs> i give me some more. I'm gonna take some of this sauce, shake it up real good. Pour a little bit in here. We're not gonna use a whole lot of it. But just pour some into a bowl like that. That way you're not contaminating this jar right here. All right. I'm gonna cut this. Eh, let's cut this into, eh, let's see. We'll cut it in half. Yeah, we'll do half, just like that. I'm gonna trim a little bit of this belly fat off right here. Did I get through the skin? Oh yeah, man, there we go. All right, trim a little bit off of this side here as well. Tough one there. All right. Yeah, there you go. It looks a lot better. Now for the uh, marinade here. Just brush it on. My coals are almost ready. Oh, and if you haven't messed with salmon or really any other fish, find out where the bone line is and just move your finger across there and make sure you don't have any bones. This one did not, so we're good there. But if you do, just get you some tweezers and pull that bone out. You don't want to be mistakenly choking on a fish bone, folks. That's not good. And what they're going to do, we're going to let this uh, marinade, the sauce, kind of set up on here for about 10 more minutes. And uh, at that point, we're going to get the coals put in the, uh, the kettle right here. A real light coating of your, a little light dusting of your rub here, folks. Not heavy, heavy. You can just put black pepper if you want. Black pepper is fine. Or if you're not using a sauce that has some soy sauce in it like this, you know, if you're using honey or molasses or maple syrup or whatever you want for your glaze, uh, go ahead and add salt and pepper, okay? But you can always add salt and pepper at the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. All right, let's let this sit here for about five minutes, 10 minutes while we get the coals ready. And as you can see over here, I got my Weber set up with the two zones here. It's nothing in the middle. We're gonna do an indirect cooking on this. And for the uh, chips, for the smoke part, I've got some post oak. I already had a, uh, so I'm just gonna put in some water here soaking. They've been soaking maybe 20 minutes. But uh, I already had the bag open. But you wanna use some kind of a light smoking wood. I would think mesquite or hickory, something like that would be too much smoke flavor. But uh, some kind of a oak or pecan, and I'm saying pecan, y'all, pecan, not pine. <laughs> but uh, some kind of fruit wood would work great on this. And I might have to come back and add some more here in a little bit. This is probably gonna be a 20, maybe 30 minute cook, I think, something like that. I got some cooking spray here. Just spray your grill down real good. Try not to cause a fire. 
And I'm just gonna slide these salmon fillets skin side down. Come on, get off of there. There we go, just like that. Let them babies rock and roll at about uh, 325 ish, 350, something like that. And since we're doing uh, two zones, I've got my vent here. It's halfway open, the bottom's halfway open, and I've got my vent directly in the middle over the salmon. So we'll check on it here in a little bit, see what she's looking like. All right, guys, we've been going 25 minutes. Let's check on them. They look absolutely amazing. Really, really do. Let's see where we're at here. Feels like it's flaky. Eh, overshot a little bit, it's about 142. That's good enough for me. I know the other one's a little bit thicker, so it's probably a little bit less done. They look, they look wonderful though. Oh yeah, they're flaking up good now. There we go. Put that over here. Put that one over here. All right, let these babies cool off for about five, 10 minutes and we're gonna check them out and see what they taste like. All right guys, I'm so excited to try these salmon fillets out. They look absolutely gorgeous and they smell terrific too. Just a light hint of smoke, that's all you really need on any kind of fish. And uh, again, make it your own way. This is just how I tried. I've actually never tried it this way. I'm fixing to take a bite and see how this tastes. All right guys, let's check out this little corner piece right here. Oh, check that out. Yes, indeed, baby. Look at there, look at there. Man, it almost looks like tuna. Check that out. All right, here we go. Let's give this a try. Whew. Hmm. Folks, this is jamming. This is really, really, really good. Hmm. My gosh. And I don't even like salmon. This is jamming. Definitely thumbs up. That teriyaki sauce really adds a nice flavor to it. And uh, as it cooked, it kind of formed like a thick glaze on there, you know? It's not thick at all. It's like a, more like a coating, let's say. It adds a real nice flavor along with it. It's incredible. It didn't taste, it's not over salty. What bit, it, it just tastes good, y'all. I'm here to tell you, I don't like salmon, but I will eat this. This is good. This is really good. Hope y'all give it a try. And just got a nice little subtle hint of that uh, post oak smoke. Gives it a real nice kind of barbecue type flavor, you know? Really good though. Karen's gonna love this. I hope y'all give it a try. It's not a recipe or anything per se. It's just me showing you how to grill some salmon or smoke some salmon. Use your own glaze, use your own rub. Just use salt and pepper if you want. That'll work too. But uh, I'm here to tell you, the way you see me do it on this video, this is good. I'd do this again in a heartbeat. And again, I don't like salmon. Thanks again for the request to, for me to do some smoked salmon. I appreciate it. I've been putting it off, but uh, in fact, I wouldn't go put this video out there if this turned out bad, because I don't like putting up videos of the food I don't like. But this is good, y'all. Hope you give it a try. If y'all enjoy this kind of stuff, y'all give me some thumbs up. If you're not subbed, hit that little subscribe button down there in the bottom right corner. I'd appreciate it. And uh, hope you share the video, folks. And when you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. We'll see y'all next week.